Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, January the 10th, and here are today's top headlines. Remembering Bob Saget, how the nation and Hollywood is remembering the legendary comedian and actor after he was found dead. COVID-19 testing scramble continues. How the California National Guard and the LAUSD are helping to boost efforts before classes resume tomorrow. And police officers pull a pilot to safety. The heroic efforts caught on camera right before a train crashes into the plane. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Megan. Yeah. Good morning to you. And to you as well. Happy Monday. A bit somber day for football post Sunday. Both of our local teams lost. Yeah. One of them, it cost them the playoffs. The other one is kind of limping into the playoffs. Henry said don't talk about it. Well, we ought to yeah. talk about it a little bit. Yeah. He's not <laughs> Just a little great. bit. We'll, you know, off and on throughout the morning, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, big game tonight. Wyatt's Alabama team playing for national championship. So we're going to look forward, Henry. Yeah. There you go. Well, you should always look forward. There you go. You know, the past is the past. Megan wants more football talk, but we better go to weather. She loves more football talk, <laughs> but we are going to get to weather. Good morning, everybody. Let's take a quick look at the forecast. 72 along the coast, 73 downtown. San Fernando Valley, 74. Windy overnight. In fact, it was windy yesterday, and that continues for us. We could see those winds increasing a little bit for the high desert, but it is going to help temperatures get up there today. 75 in Orange County, where the winds have been quite strong out of the Santa Ana Mountains, some of the local ranges there, and the IE right around 70 with gusts up to 40. So that's a big story this morning, Ginger. The winds, we'll talk about that in the heat coming up in just a few minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people will be talking about that game. Eddie and I were as well, and he was there yesterday at the game, and I think that was a lot of fun until the end, right? Uh, good morning, everybody. We're going to talk about a lot of things this morning. In fact, let's take you first to look at this 101. It's the northbound side right at that 134 split. Should come as no surprise anybody drives it. They have three lanes closed here, so they can continue with some work until 5. Don't need an alternate. Don't need anywhere around it. It, you see it, the conditions are really, really good. You know, as we look at the Inland Empire, there are a couple of things we want to mention. Remember, over the weekend, they had to shut down the 91 West between Green River over to the 241. Everything was reopened five o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And now that extra lane that they were able to add on that stretch of the 91 will be a permanent uh, added lane, which is great news. So hopefully come tomorrow and then maybe next week, we'll really get a better idea of how helpful it's been because I mean, it was millions of dollars for that project. They will do, con they will continue with some work, but at least for now anyway, with that extra lane that is open, that will certainly help with the flow of traffic and we'll start to see some of that uh, later on. Then we have a camera in that spot, so a lot for us to check out and then stick around. We're going to be watching some of the streets in South LA next time around for us. We'll watch all these things for everybody on Monday. I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. Legendary comedian and actor Bob Saget was found dead yesterday in a hotel room in Orlando. He was 65. For decades, Saget was a fixture on television and the L.A. comedy stand-up circuit. KTLA 5's Carlos Sacedo has more. By the way, I want to start by apologizing for the way that I speak. It is, again, it is shock value. It is a persona. Throughout the years, funny man Bob Saget remained a fixture in stand-up comedy, known for his raunchy humor. But it was his family-friendly persona that captured the hearts of TV audiences. Born in Philly, Saget shot to superstardom in 1987 as the lovable dad, Danny Tanner, on Full House. Hi, everybody. Dad, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Mm, Dorothy was right. There's no place like home. No stranger to the KTLA morning show, Saget explained to our Sam Rubin how the Full House gig was an accident. I was taken away, and then I never thought I'd work again, and three weeks later, my manager called and said, this show, Full House, wants you to be.